We are live, estamos en vivo. Vamos a dar aquí un poco esto. Let's wait a few seconds, see if anybody connects. Got somebody, creo que llegó alguien. Anybody wants to leave a comment? Say hello. So I know you're there. Alright. Buenas noches, eh, Gustavo A. Castillo. How you doing? ¿Cómo está? Desde Colombia. Saludo para Gustavo desde Colombia. So I want, before we start with the video, I want to show you guys, in case you didn't see on my other channel, the bone shaker when I got this one. Uh, así que sí, pueden ver en este, no tiene una TH en ningún lado pero si sí, it does say si dice Chase Ultimate ahí encima ¿verdad? vamos a darle un poco para atrás el zoom I think it looks very good this combination color combination with orange and um, en blue works out great la combinación de colores se ve bien I wish I would have had a bone shaker like this for the rat rod that I just did for my other channel or for my other two custom channels si sí, de lo más seguro va a llegar a final de año si sí, this is uh, To my understanding, the first bone shaker that came out came out with the open roof like this. Then Hot Wheels decided to do it with a closed roof. And yeah, this is the one I just did. All right? The custom. And I want I didn't get the chance to show on the other video. I got the chassis and the front grille from this car which uh, seems to be a, a 32 Ford parece ser un Ford del 32 de este carro maísto fue que yo saqué las piezas para hacer aquel and Hot Wheels does have a uh, 32 Ford which I almost cut this front grille for this car but I just like the headlights me gustaron más las luces de este para hacer el custom verdad Vamos a guardar esto por aquí para crear un poco de espacio. Let's put some of the stuff away so I can have some more room. And uh, in case you did not see it, el Datsun color de rosa. También me llegó. If you saw that video, uh, you know that I did not open this one. I'm waiting to see if I could get a airbrush <clears throat> with a compressor so I could try to replicate that white. Si vieron el otro video, saben que este no lo abrí. Creo que me voy a comprar un airbrush para poder tratar de replicar ese blanco perlado ¿verdad? and I did go to Toys R Us the other day there was no mainline Hot Wheels fui a Toys R Us y no quedaba ni un solo Hot Wheels eh, regular eh. 
Si sí encontré este Porsche, I did find this Porsche. They they're usually something and since everything is on special, it came out to like two dollars and fifty cents, I think. I did notice the wheels. They look like Hot Wheels real riders. Cuando vi este carro sí noté que las ruedas parecen de Hot Wheels, no de Matchbox. Yo creo que sí. And it does seem like a Spectre Flame Orange. Check it out. The casting is not perfect, but the paint definitely looks like a Spectre Flame. El, no está pulido la carrocería, pero definitivamente es una pintura translucente como si fuera Spectre Flame. Mucho detalle en este carro, mira todo el dash ahí. Y las ruedas definitivamente son de, de Hot Wheels, mira. Parece que las cogieron prestadas. Seems like Matchbox borrow uh, some real riders from Hot Wheels, which is good because uh, Matchbox don't have uh, like really cool real riders. The real riders look more like four by four off roading wheels. So uh, it's kind of weird. All right, so uh, we close this one. this a space here so I'm gonna try to do this no tengo mucho espacio así que vamos a tratar de hacer lo mejor aquí you know what I'm gonna put it to the side I'm just gonna take them out one by one so this is the street freaks Right. We have here a 1971 Dutch Challenger. Tenemos un Dutch Challenger de 71. Tengo que admitir que estos carros así no son de mi favorito. They're not my favorite when they have a uh, Type. of setup here it'll make a cool gasser it has cool details cool paint job la pintura definitivamente está bien bonita los detalles también uh, ya en el pasado yo he comprado un Malibu que tenía este mismo tipo de, de suspensión así verdad exagerada y lo modifiqué y lo bajé un poco para que apareciera un carro original hot pink says the license cool details on the back cool details on the front definitely a cool car it would have been so much nicer if they would have done it like an original car all right this on the floor check it out I'll be saving the the cards next up is <clears throat> this 1957 Chevy Ambulance una Chevy Ambulancia del 57 Black with Flame se llama la serie ¿verdad? sigue siendo Street Freaks ¿Verdad? Aquí te indica el color. Verde metálico, metallic green, con pintura negra brillosa y flamas. 
gloss black with flames. Let's see, this up. I haven't shown you the back of a car yet. Check it out. I guess there is a white lightning of this. Uh, uh, might be of this version. I don't know. I've never found a white lightning. Never found a super out of the pegs. I think that uh, where I live, uh, they don't make it here. They stay on the other part of the country. Now this one, oh, look it out. Real riders, we got real riders here. Definitely very cool. Uh oh, do we have an opening hood? Oh yes we do. Mira, ah, tenemos un bonete que hay. Motor anaranjado ahí adentro. Mira qué bonito. All the details. Very nice. The only thing I really don't like is the green uh, windshield, but you know what can you do? And oh, ain't easy. That's what the license plate says. Ain't easy. I bet it isn't. It ain't easy. Look at this card. Very good. Let's jump to the next one. Sites B. Hola, cómo está? Bienvenido al en vivo. We continue here. In 1955 Ford panel delivery. En negra, ne, flat black, negro mate completa. I think all the back of the cards are the same. Tarjeta eh, por detrás son iguales. bonito el dibujo vale al a este si sí se le abre el cofre ¿ver? pero ahí <coughs> this one I see something is got a Ben Axle eh, llegó Jandros Custom como está amigo so this one has a bent axle. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to fix that one. Maybe with the uh, red line alignment tool. You might be able to get it. It does have rear riders. So you can see that wheel is messed up. Esta está toda virada. So it's got glossy black on the roof. Tiene negro brillante en el techo. Glossy black on the roof. Red details on that supercharger. Look at that front headlights. Rear tail lights. I think Hot Wheels makes one something similar to this, but the whole thing opens up. The whole uh, front. So, so oh, look at this. This one is all crooked. See? So I definitely have to try to fix that one. Está bonita la combinación de color negro mate y negro glossy. Sí, está muy bonito. Tenemos por aquí, we have here the 1976 Ford Mustang 2 Cobra. I think this got to be the ugliest Mustang ever. It says here Mustang 2 shared the same platform as the Pinto. It was a 14.5 inches shorter than the 1973 Mustang. The Cobra 2 was an appearance package with front and rear spoilers and a blacked out grill. Ahí tienen para que lo puedan leer. Dice que este carro compartía la plataforma con el modelo de carro Pinto. Creo que por eso es que es tan feo. 
pues puede ser que explique ese detalle. Maybe that's why it's so ugly because they shared the platform of a pinto. I mean, I say it's ugly, but in, in real life, if you get to have one in real life, it's still pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. So we got plastic wheel. Tenemos goma de plástico, no son goma goma. I like the rim. I know exactly where to put those rims. Can you say Suzuki Samurai? They look exactly. <coughs> son casi exacto a los que traía un Suzuki Samurai que tengo uno por ahí. A lo mejor no trae cofre por ir muy rápido. Voló el cofre. <laughs> so yeah, definitely I could do that. I, I mean, it'd be better if I have bigger tires, but I could, uh, I could definitely get something to work out with those rims. Make, yeah, maybe make it mm, and we have also here the boogie bands it says here through a dealership customers could custom order conversions vans built by hubcaps company fantastic of bremen in porthole windows swivel Swivel seating, shack carpet, and side pipe exhaust were only a fraction of the options. So that was crazy. I didn't know that one. Así que puedes aquí que a través de algunos dealers de carro, en, en esos años, tú podías man, en, comprar una de estas customizadas con esos diferentes detalles. Interesante. Esa parte yo no sabía. I didn't know that part. Another thing that I've noti noticed in uh, this uh, new this new uh, journey lining, it's how wide they are. I remember all my old journey linings were like real thin, skinny. We have plastic wheels. Tenemos goma de plástico. This, so the wheels, is, they're not very loose, but it's heavy enough that it, it should go pretty fast on the track this thing got a weight oh man it's got to weight at least i want to say five ounces all right so the app closed and we are back hopefully it doesn't close again here we have it very cool nothing opens it should go very fast on track it is very heavy and for the start of the show ta -da! we have here the white version of the 1990 honda crx la versión blanca Hace como dos videos atrás mostré la que es color vino. Esta es la nueva versión. On the real car, it says here. On the real car, the black rear panel is actually tinted glass for better rear view visibility. The front wheel drive and agile handling made the CRX very popular for rally and autocross racing. That is all true. Ahí lo que dice es la parte de atrás. La parte de atrás. Señor. Look at the car. Very nice. Right here on the real car. This section right here was actually glass. So when you were looking back. You can look through this. En el carro real, esta parte de aquí, que era cristal tinteado, 
así que cuando estaba manejando podía ver por aquí wow son los mismos aros que trajo la color vino verdad Deben un segundo para compararlas. Vengo enseguida. Vamos a pipar acá. Miquel, tío. Todo bueno. Find it. Here it is. All right. Check it out. Sí, sí, sí. Same rims, different color. This one has a, like a bent axle also. I've seen a lot of them like that. Very cool details here. Has something written on that corner right there. Which I can't really make out. Uh, it says Honda on the left corner. So here you have it, guys. The two CRX. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for leaving your comments. Gracias por dejar los sus comentarios. Recuerden de compartir el video en sus redes sociales. Eh, darle like al video, suscribirse al canal, darle a la campanita, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get all the notifications of the new videos, and uh, peace out. Nos vemos a todos, todos los, gracias a todos los que dejaron comentarios en vivo, nos vemos.